Ishmael Tashud, the freshman, is in there as well as Sean D. Brown, the junior for Wake Forest. Olivier Saar off the bench, who had a double-double yesterday. Dildress, the leading scorer for Wake Forest, who's looking for their first finals appearance in the November tournament since they won the Wooden Legacy in 2008. And Olivier Saar picking up right where he left off yesterday. Roberts for two. Final four seconds for Wake Forest. Adrian White from half court, banks it in! And that is a huge momentum swing. The Beach with a chance to do something. They shoot too soon. And then right there, the 50-footer at the buzzer off the glass. And he just trots off like it's no big deal, but got a clean look, laid it up. Lined it up nicely and knocked it down, and that is a huge momentum swing. But look at that, he's got the arc locked in, calls glass, that's money right there. Game more difficult for the Friars, they couldn't really get a rhythm going. Anytime you see zone, you have to start to think, and that slows most players down. Hunter lost the handle, turnover, Long Beach State, Euro step. John Munson pleading with his team to stay with it, hoping Cut into this lead. What a dime. The Olivier freshman knee inside to Olivier Saar. And try to get stops over the last three and a half minutes to make a game of this. And there's nobody home on the back door defense. Total breakdown. This is just one on one and nobody, and I mean nobody, paying attention to the backside for Long Beach State. Once he beats Hunter all the way to the rack for the easiest two of the afternoon, and they love it on the bench for the Demon Deacons. Some good outside shooting, but today was about fundamentals, getting to the free throw line, finishing. John D. Brown with one on the shot clock, the dime from Brandon Childress. It's an 89-75 Wake Forest victory as they move to the finals of the Paycom Wooden Legacy, a tournament they won back in 2008. Looking to do it again against the winner of Penn in Arizona.